Welcome to Gary Drone um, YouTube channel and today video I'm going to talk about the DJI Air 2S but before that subscribe to this channel if you want to learn drone tips you want to learn how to fly your drone safely without no error you want to learn more about drones make sure you subscribe the subscribe button is there subscribe uh, all right so um let's talk about why you should buy the i2s so you know DJI has so many drones you know new um, advanced you know the mavic the mini and the other drones you know so let's talk about the i2s today one of the things that you all know battery is very important when you're flying a drone one of the key things you should look out for when you're buying any drone to be specific is one the battery how long does it last to the camera quality, does it shoot in 4K? Can it give you that quality you're looking for? Well, you know, after shooting video, you need to edit. So, will we will be able for you to edit with your laptop? You know, we have MacBook, we have HP. You have to be specific. You need to know those little things. Then, um, the gimbal also. The gimbal features also matter. How the gimbal move, the movement of the gimbal. And also, the size of the drones. One way or the other also matters. So, now. The drones can last on air for up to 25 to 30 minutes. So, but DJI said it's 31 minutes. But I'm telling you, as a drone pilot and your drone expert, this battery can only sustain in the air for about 25 minutes. Lesser, if I'm, if I'm okay. So, um, you don't need to overcharge your battery in case you are flying your drones and you are done for the day. Don't store your drone battery inside the drone box. Make sure you discharge the battery and keep it in a safe place so it doesn't swell up. So, so the drone is turned on right now, and I have to click on the power button. I mean the controller. So you have to give some time. So the battery is on one percent at all four percent. So always note that. Make sure your controller is fully charged. You know, so it can last you when you are flying your drone. Let's try some tips. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about the uh, DJI A2S remote control. Now, very important thing that you need to learn. As a drone pilot, one of the things that, you know, gives you that confidence is how to hold this. You cannot control this thing. The, your life is out of control. So, yeah. So, we have... The, the control part so starting by you need to clip this most people don't really like using this oh now you can see where the control stick is started to your remote control before or after using your remote control what you need to do is so guys uh, before you fly your drone, most times some of you guys actually don't know how to show your drone before flying it. Or you don't even have what it's called the landing pad. So that like the, the mats. So each time you want to fly your drone, you need to have this for reason. So place your drone in the center of this way. Then um, you have your controller. So what you need to do is bring down this two clip. So you bring down the two yeah. now, um, when you click on this tool down, the drone is actually power on. Then don't put your foot arm on your stick. So you have to be one after the other, except you are a professional. Or if you're not, learn these tools. So your hand goes this way. Both hands. So So, take it easy. so most times when when you are applying your drone and both of your hands are on the controller main the, 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 the stick it actually causes a lot of distraction or it depends on the professional or if I see you learn so uh, I'll advise you to learn this thing. So because this drone has 
sensor, start backward sensor, and upward sensor. Actually, no work on the kind of part of the corner. You see that at some point, this joint is not going forward. And it's not coming backward. Like, it's, not, it's not going forward. Yeah, what is Because of the sensor, it doesn't allow it to move forward to any obstacle. But what I see it is off, and I take it forward, you can see that. So, forward, backward, it's working. When there is no obstacle, you know, close to the floor. But there is any, let's do that then. So you can see that these joints are not going forward. It can't go forward because of the tension. So you try to land the joint, or you take it off to change the direction. Let's do it So in case you want to land your drone, make sure you land it properly on this. So that makes you a great pilot. If you want to learn these tips, subscribe to the Giddy Drone YouTube channel. And don't forget to send us an email or call us. Thank you. Hi, hello, welcome to Kitty Drone Nigeria YouTube page. I will be sharing to you UAV uh, tips and everything that goes on in the UAV industry. So, welcome, subscribe, and like.